all the food to order. The first item on the agenda would be the reading of the minutes of the last meeting of November 28th. On the warrant for last month? No. Any questions on the warrant? I have no questions on the warrant. We have a motion to approve. I'll make a motion. motion. Make a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's the director's report. Yes. Okay. So, on the first agenda on the director's report today, um, we have the rear sidewalk construction approval pending punch list. And um, what I'm asking for um, by the uh, engineer of the project is that the board go, um, goes forward and approves the sidewalk project. We have walked around. Um, the engineer was coming out Tuesday to do a final inspection. There was only a couple of little things that um, the contractor is going to come back and fix. So I just um, ask the board for an approval to vote for um, this final contract. It shouldn't be any more than, and I'm not sure I have to find out the retainer fee, than $45,700. If the retainer fee is just something that's added there, then it'd be like $43,400 and some odd dollars. So I just ask the board to go ahead and vote um, to pay the contractor for doing the sidewalk job. Uh, the, this was recommended by Mike Carter from the engineering company. So once all the um, paperwork is done, we can just go ahead and issue the check to um, to metal construction. Uh, um, well, uh, have they completed it? Yes. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes they do a punch list. We did walk around. There, there was a few things as they were doing it that they fixed, so there wasn't a big punch list at the end. If there's any small things, I believe it's the cracks next to the um, maintenance garage. They did fill them, but they settled a little bit, so they're just going to have them come out and refill them. And that would probably be the only thing. There's been nothing, nothing. Everything looks great. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I yeah, just kind of watched it. Yeah, they did a really nice job. So. Okay. Okay. Can I move to the draw? I'll make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Also, the electrical box approval pending punch list. Um, the electrical box was put in. The electric. The electrical box itself was paid for, and we're just waiting to pay for the contractor, which I believe is 5900 I just need a, an approval from the board pending the punch list, which they did come up this week and they didn't find anything. So I just ask um, for a vote to approve to go ahead and pay the electrician for doing the work on the electrical box. Do you have a proof? It's right? No, I think it was 50, 58 or 59. Yeah. Could I have a vote, please? Make a motion. Second. I'll, I'll go with that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. If 
you can turn to the back of your correspondence, in the back of your book, um, the first letter is from John Murphy, um, the electrical construction engineer. They came in, they did all the work on engineering the boxes and all the electrical work and had to put in a generator in the community center. Once the board, uh, all the um, folks came back, um, <coughs> we have a letter with reference that Larcy Electrical Contractors Incorporated has provided as part of that bid package and they found no negative issues with them. From the reference, they recommend that we proceed in writing a contract for Larcy Electrical Contractors to proceed with community room generator at pre on Presidential Terrace. Um, and um, the project number is 003046. So I just asked for the board to go ahead and approve the electrical um, generator. It did come back um, less than the bid cost. I believe it was, um, is it 26000 I forget the... They, they had, they had a range it. above, I think it was 35000 but I know it came in quite a bit under that. Yeah, so the, it, it was bid, it was bid um, for like 30 some thousand dollars It came in in the 20s. Um, they went and checked their references, and they um, suggest that we go ahead and sign the contract to have uh, Larcy uh, electrical contract to stop doing the generator work. That, that contract has done a lot of work for housing authorities and schools, so it's pretty reputable. So you want to get the contract ready? Yes, we, it's, it's, it's all set. The, um, they checked all the references, and once we sign the contract, they're going to stop the work. Okay. Uh, I have a question on that. Yeah. Now this, um, I'm kind of mixed up. Now this is the building that's going to be lit. Just this building. Just this building, yes. not the rest of the No, building. no, nope. The community center, they'll be able to um, come in, get heat, electric, the refrigerator will work, the stove will work, the lights will work. It, I'm not so sure about the um, washer and dryer. That's no. not going to be something that'll be functioning during the time of power, yeah. power outage. Mm -hmm. But they can come in here and get warm and, and cook and use the refrigerator. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think possible a generator for a while. Yeah. Well, down the road, they, they did um, do all the electrical work if we wanted to get a bigger generator, but I mean, we really don't need. I mean, since I've been here, that one day you lost power for eight hours. Eight hours. That, I think it was two hours in eight years that we lost power. Yeah. So we're right on that main road, so we're one of the first to get turned back on. Yes. So it's just in case of a, you know. I remember just in five years, I think it just once. Yeah. Last March was the worst. Well, who the worst. The contract? Yeah. Um, right now, um, our, cats, our cat and John Murphy, they're doing all of the procurement for it. So between our, um, our cat representative, Greg, and um, John Murphy from um, uh, the electrical instruction engineer, he, they're doing all the procurement on this particular project. Okay. What's that? I do. I need, I need um, a vote for that. I have a motion to uh, leave Lynn get the contract. Yeah, I'll um, make a motion. I'll second it. On the table. Aye. Aye. That also, just so you know, the um, electrical, um, that's also being paid for through our CIP, so that's just one of the things that we need to put in, so that's not going to come out of any of our funding or our budget. Mm -hmm. On the next page, if you turn the page in your correspondence over here, um, it's mandatory now that the board have to be trained, and I gave you all the information, if you can just go, um... Move back to the first page. Nope, right in your correspondence. Yeah, right So, this gives you all the information, you can do all the training online. I know, I can. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna, um, I'm giving this to you so if you guys could go ahead and, um, I'm not sure, you have to, there's a website here to go on and then you can do the training right online. What kind of training? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's just you sit there in these classes and they, you know, they just teach you or, you know, they just want you to be aware of what you need to do as a board member on the board. So this is all, it's all new, it's all new to me, so I haven't even had a chance to check it out yet. They've so. had some of these classes where they were really in the 
Yeah, the class is off far. But it's nice because you can do it right on the computer. Yeah, I wish they had these on the cake. I know. They, they have them. They oh, it's the same cars. thing that we use to it's go. It's kind of like going the to the cake. You go and then you, know, yeah, you, you, do, but you do it. But you do it right on your computer. You can do it right in your living room. Okay. So you can do the training. And once I get, I'll, once I have a chance to look into it, then I'll let you know like what it involves. I just haven't had a chance to click on the link or anything. Okay, I appreciate that because I read and I said, okay. <laughs> What I need to do now. <clears throat> so I, the, because you get to us the uh, I know. It has the link. I can I can go over that. Do we have the link? Yep, I have the it's the link's there. Mm -hmm. But I can uh, go after go over with you after if you need help. Okay. You do. Yes, no problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, they, they, they were good programs they had there. Yeah, some of them are very information. No, I remember yeah. when we went to Cape Cod. Yeah, we had very nice classes. Yes, it was very nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but they stopped with the Cape Cod? No, they still, no, they still do them. But that one's once a year. Yeah. Um, they do classes, but some of them are Natick, Denim, so it's an hour just to get to, you know, for you guys to drive to the yeah. classes. Yeah, of course. So if there's any in Donovan, I'll definitely let you guys know, because it's yeah. right around the corner of Cayman. Yes, so. exactly. Yeah. yeah, but just if you can definitely yeah. I help. All right. So next on the agenda, um, I'm going to ask the, the board to vote to approve the um, fiscal year 21 formula funding. I know that sounds funny because it's so far away. <laughs> so DCD gave us a letter to notify us that Amendment 4 to Capital Improvement Work Plan 5001 and the amount of $62,864. There's the conditions here that the board can look over, but they're giving us that additional amount of money for more spending and, and working on the development. We already have a plan, and if you want, I can go over. I just actually handed that to um, everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, if you look at the the handout that I handed you, right there. Um, you can see that these are projects coming up. So, with that sixty-two thousand dollars, we'll be able to do extra. But right now we have, this, we, this, we did the sidewalk replacement, we had a hot water heater replacement. We're in the process of getting um, the engineering for the fire alarm upgrade and emergency hallway lighting, which a big portion of that is actually coming from our uh, CPA money. So that 134 isn't all coming from CIP. That's actually coming from our um, town money from CPA. CPA. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of C's, CIP, CPA. <laughs> So the other thing um, is the community room generator that's also on our funding for 2018. Yes. Uh, the rear door window replacement, is that at uh, Garfield Street to replace the slider? We yeah. might have put that in the uh, in okay. window replacement at um, Garfield Street? Yeah, yeah, some of the windows. I don't think it's do all of them, but. Okay, I the, think it was that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the rear, well, it's not a slide. So a French door. Oh, French door. Okay. I think we're going to change it to a slider, right? I, whatever they think is okay. more is better. I don't, I'm not sure. And then also the electrical disconnect switch gearbox, which that was already just done and just approved. So that was in this year's. So coming up ahead, if you turn the page, um, the, the, these projects are recommended, which would be um, kitchen upgrade, bathroom fan replacement, front entry painting, electrical panel replacement. Uh, that's a big one that's coming up that we're probably going to have to look into. All of our electrical panels, the panels themselves are, um, they, they, what would you say? They're, just they're, they're outdated. They, um, I don't think they even make the... Um, yeah, they don't make the... I don't know if they make the circuit breakers The circuit breakers for them. They're, they're trouble panels, and they're, I guess the insurance companies uh, make them. Uh, housing authorities had to have them in there, you know, replaced. And another part of that is a big thing with um, we probably want to try to get all electric stoves in the kitchens, so that's going to be one of the other projects. Yeah. Well, that's not on This is just right so right. far. Yeah. But, but that's <laughs> we'll part of it. No, that's part of it because yeah, you have yeah. to put the panel in big enough to And there are some grants out there that Mike and I are actually looking into right now to help with the funding. 
we're just in the process. We have some cards and calling people and see what what could be offered to us. So the uh, electric piano placement, that's going to be another big hit. Mm -hmm. Shut off valves for all the fixtures. What is that? I'm not uh, sure. Underneath all the sinks, you know, you have the uh, shut off there. A lot of them, I mean, uh, they oh, haven't wow. been touched in years, so when you start turning them, they fall apart and you can't oh. shut the water up to the faucet if you need to replace it. Oh. So you have to shut the whole, go down the basement, shut the whole yeah, the whole, whole side off there. You know, that usually affects either two or four apartments at a time. And um, that's something that Greg from ICAC said that a lot of housing authorities are doing. They're just putting ball valves there now. You know, not the, the old fashioned ones that we have got the in the student. So that's something I mean. That's, is that like a large cost or is that it, just something it, that's. It's, it's time consuming. It's, it could be, well, it's government. Of course, it's a large cost. <laughs> but, but I think I have to engineer that too. But, um, do you have to have a really? We can't I'm just do sure it as we switch We may heads. be able to with a plumber. Okay. I mean, I've had a couple incidents where I tried to do it and I thought the water was off and it wasn't. And luckily it was in the bathroom, so I was able to divert the water to the tub to like to shut it off. But it, it could cause a disaster if it's up south. Yeah, but they, so they've been doing it in the housing authorities a lot. Really right now. And this yeah. is just recommended. What yeah. happens once a year is our cat comes, we do a walk around, they pick five apartments, they walk around the common areas, we go to Garfield Street, and they come up with a list of things that they suggest. A lot of times we're all on the same page. Um, so the next thing would be GFI replacement to replace some of our GFIs. After that would be, um, we've talked about this before, but this is going to be a huge cost because of the kind of box system we have here, would be to change all the outdoor doors, handles to levers. Um, but because of the way our systems and the keys work, uh, it's electrical, so that's going to be quite a bit of a cost to do that. And last but not least, um, the bathroom renovation at Garfield Street. That's been on our list for a while, and I think that's actually coming up next year for our um, CIP. So these are the things that they um, have suggested, recommended. And our next capital improvement plan for 2020 is the vinyl siding replacement. A big portion of that is coming from CIP, and the other portion is coming from CPA. So with the state and the town, we'll be able to replace the vinyl. Um, and that should start, that project should start in the spring. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what we have right and now. And just so you know about that, my favorite thing, we do have to hire an architect probably for $5,000 to tell us what to do. <laughs> so the state is going to do these when you want to, uh, like I say, the shut offs in the kitchen? No, that, that's the just state's a... state's going to pay no, Well, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, re that's recommended yeah. by our RCAT, which is our representative to spend the money coming up in the next couple of years. So what I'm asking you today is, they're always ahead and giving us the money. Mm -hmm. So they're actually um, giving us $62,864 for the year, of um, fiscal year, year of 2021. So I'm just gonna read this amendment, and if you can go on as I read it, add the amendment as I'm reading it. So the description would be, amendment number four, contract for financial assistance 5001. Additional funding to the formula funding master CFA but fiscal year 2021. All developments for preservation and modernization of state supported public housing and specified in the contract for capital improvement work plan, approved budget exhibit one, and timetable for completion of the work exhibit two, all such shall be subject to the requirements set out to the Commonwealth terms and conditions in attachment A. I ask for the board for approval to accept the $62,864. I uh, make a motion that uh, yes or no. Second. On the bill. Aye. Motion passed. I have a question. Okay. Our system that open the doors is to rotate it. Yes. It's out already, or I can say illegal, but it's not approved for the houses and the nursery homes and stuff like that because a lot of people that yeah, have that's, tried Yeah, that's it. what they're talking about here. Yeah. That to put the, the handles that they the have. Handles like that, yes. yes. Uh, that, that's okay. what's in the plan. Ah, uh, okay. So. Because uh, the other day, was somebody came to my house and said, hey, 
I said, I, I, I don't have a driver's I can open the door. Yeah. But they told me exactly to the store. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, I guess, a lot of places are putting in um, all of here. Yeah. The, on the doors. Yeah. It's just easier to open it. Yeah, easy, because so. they said the exact way to do it, it is open. Yep. A lot of people there have a private, they have problems on that. So hopefully within, you know, the next five years, that will yeah. be something that will definitely hey. get done. <laughs> Give me time to get over. Yeah. <laughs> Next on my list is the review of the, uh, I'm sorry, the review of Bristol County retirement. And this is just a review. Um, I don't have the exact figures, but if you go down um, to the efficient housing authority, which is probably one, two, three, four, the fifth one down. Um, oh, it's right there. So. The total for July of 2019 that we'll be responsible for is $24,945. Last year was $25,000. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Last year was... Yeah, last year. I believe last year was four or $500 less. Uh, I'll know the exact amount once we get the bill in. But um, this year, just so the board can expect that our retirement appropriation for Bristol County will be $24,945. Usually, if we pay it on the floor, they give you like $400 off or something, which we could do in a week. Yeah. But that bill is not coming until July. They just sent this in the mail, so I just wanted to review that with the board that um, for fiscal year 2020, this is what our appropriation should be. No, it wasn't a huge increase. Last, last, last year, the year before, was our biggest increase so far. Right. Um, so we came up with something with the accountant the other day, and then also there's been a poll going around for housing authorities on different things that they do for their employees. Everybody's kind of trying to get on the same page. In the next month or two, um, I'm going to be trying to update the personal uh, the personnel policy, and I a bunch of housing authorities got together and kind of were using a sample, so we can maybe for, for employee benefits vacation time. Uh, everything. We're just going to do the whole personnel um, uh, policy. Yeah, yeah, I wish. <laughs> so today I just asked for a vote. It's been this has been happening on um, the last couple of years. If we can't if we can't take our vacation time, if we don't take our vacation time during the year, the board has in the policy that we're allowed to carry over one year. One and week. if one week. One, one week, one week, <laughs> one week only. Um, so a lot of us do carry over a week, but this year and last year, um, just some things came up. I wasn't able to take all my vacation time, Julie didn't take all her vacation time, and we lost hours. So it was recommended to us, and also a lot of housing authorities, most housing authorities are doing the same thing. So at the end of the year, and we already went over this with the accountant, and she said it's not a problem for our budget, that at the end of the year, if we don't have vacation time, that we can take up to two weeks of our vacation by pay. Um, you know, tw twice a year they give you that option to take vacation time. I think they give it to you in July. If you have, if you don't want to take a certain amount by July, you can take the, you can take a check and then by December. Get the money instead. We get yeah, the money. Get the money. Instead. Instead. Oh. Because right now I'm, I'm probably going to be losing like 13 hours, and yeah. Julie's going to be losing, and I'm not even carrying over. I'm still yeah. going to lose 13 hours. And then it just came time where, you know, October and November was really busy with construction and um, just doing audits. So by the time we realized that we had vacation time left, we can't both take it at the same time. So that was a suggestion from the accountant. And it was also on the poll that from the other housing authorities that they also do that. So that, that would increase the payroll budget? It would increase the payroll budget. No, um, yes, it would. Yeah, so we get either the time or this time we get the time or the money for the time. Other than so. that, you can have the time and not change the money. Yes, we can have the time. But a lot of times it's yeah, hard because you don't, you don't have, 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 you're like right now, if we both said we're going to take the rest of our time, the office will be shut down until New Year's. You know, so we just can't, we just can't do that. So, no. yeah. Okay, so you want to go forward to pursue that? Yes. Do you have a motion, please? I'll make a motion. Second motion. I'll also yes. Yes. So the motion is to pay up to two weeks. Yes. Vacation. Twice a year. 
but only two weeks in one whole year. Yeah, you I get know. a week in a week. I know. I'll that's word that a, that way too. That's a, that other other authorities do that. Oh, there is. Um, actually, I have um, at the next meeting, I'm going to be um writing. I'm going to stop writing a policy, and um, we've been looking a lot into the Sharon Housing Authority policy. There's a really really good Sharon Mass, and that's also in theirs. Um, they also do the same thing. They they if the, if the employees choose not to take their vacation, they can get the pay only up to two weeks. And um, I think most housing authorities are changing now since it's happened in a few other, in a few other areas. Um, people were just carried over their vacation and there was no limit. Yeah. So some of the employees had left and they had almost a year worth of vacation time. So they literally took vacation before they retired or, and having a you know, strict policy like that prevents that here. The most we could have is our weekend and we could carry over. So it would be three weeks when somebody leaves. Or in an independent, because we build up vacation time so many hours a month. So depending on, you know, if somebody left in February, they would have a lot less time than if they left in December. So that's how it works. Yeah. Yep. How do you Yep, no, no, actually no. <laughs> <laughs> So the two, also too in the um, employee uh, packet, and I can give you um, some of the polls when, in the next meeting. And you know we don't need to vote on this. I just want to go over this. Some of the things that they do do that we've never done here, and I just don't know why, is um, maintenance. And this has been a big poll that's been going around in the last two weeks. Most housing authorities give um, shirts, and we have bought shirts once I think since we've been here, sweatshirts uh, to maintenance, and also they give them allowance for. Uh, clothes and boots. So that's something that I've been looking for the smaller housing authorities. A lot of housing authorities were giving the whole uniform, pants, shirts, boots, but they found that it was, it, they saved a lot of money by just giving a dollar amount because not everybody goes and, you know, buys everything or so a small dollar amount a year. So our maintenance man can go ahead and buy, um, you know, things to wear for, for maintenance purposes here. Um, I was going to ask the vendor. That should be just for the maintenance guy. It's just for the maintenance guy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, just maintenance. Yeah. I wish they buy my clothes right now. <laughs> no, no, this, that, that's just for maintenance. Oh, okay. Just for maintenance, okay. yeah. I thought you were going to No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, it's only for maintenance. Right. Yeah, it would be one small um, allowance um, either at the beginning of the year or no, the end no, of the year. Orange, and um, that would help with, um, mostly, mostly it's, they say boots, jeans, and um, that's why it's a small allowance, because we could actually just get some sweatshirts printed up, you know, as needed, and have them here, but the allowance would be basically We just have the option to, to design the sweatshirt. Yeah, we could use our new uh, sign design, yeah, I like that. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, that's what I have for the um, so hopefully this year, um, we did get audited this year. We just audited last week. Everything went really well. Just waiting for the final audit to come in. Um, this is a different audit. The audit I talked about last time was from DHCD. That was about our desk audit, um, including the audit that we had last year and the and the maintenance work around the property. This particular audit was books, checks, payroll, vacation time, all of that. They came in for a whole day and they went through, you know, specific checks, they went through tenants' files to make sure that the rent certifications are being done correctly, and that was just done last week, so that was our big audit. So we did that, but um, I'm looking forward to, and in, in the audit they did suggest to, to update the, um, the personnel policy, because there's some things in there that were never put in there that need to be in there. So over the next couple of months, I'm hoping this year, hoping this year, we'll be able to update all of our policies. And that's why I'm going um, with the other housing authority to see what policies they have compared to, you know, what we should have here. And what I'll do is I'll just stop giving the policy, the board policies, and then each meeting the next month we can review and, and get your take on how you want things to run around here, and then we can set our own policy. That way, this year all of our policies will be updated. <laughs> No. Okay, that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have a motion to approve the director's report, please? Do a motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Maintenance report. 
Not much to say. Everything's been going pretty good. You know, not normal things that happen. Uh, had one little snowstorm a while back uh, between here and Garfield Street, and we've been, you know, staying busy with the sidewalks. I was helping out with that in the past. And, so I said, it seems to be pretty good. I do with the snow removal. Yeah, just that one time so far. Yeah. Hey, what's the black ice? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it was yesterday morning. Yeah. And the for the garbage, we need the. Yes, we're working on the. We're working on that because with the wind last. Yes. The last yesterday. Was everyone? Yeah. Well, the board did vote on the spending the money yeah, at the meeting, and the money's there. We yeah. just have to um, finish put up quotes and get yeah. quotes, and then everything is mm -hmm. quotes. I know. And <laughs> any questions on the maintenance report? <clears throat> no questions. Everything is okay. Uh, motion to approve maintenance report. First motion. Second. <clears throat> any Make comments it. from the tenants? No, I don't think so. No, no, no. Yes, the third week in um, January, the third Wednesday will be January 16th. What day is on that? That is a Wednesday. That's Wednesday. Before we close, I want to wish to everybody. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you, thank and you. Thank you very much for everything was done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any more business before? If there isn't any, I'll uh, just make a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll take it. I'll do it. Aye. Aye.